Hey there everyone, let's take a look at the Hammond P2011 in pilot vs. pilot combat, a weapon that I feel extremely confident and competent with. The Hammond deals a maximum of 60 and a minimum of 45 damage versus pilots, with a drop-off starting at 20 meters and a drop-off ending at 28.56 meters. This means that you're almost always going to be a 4 shot to kill, but you have the potential to drop down to 5 at longer ranges. So these damage numbers are interesting to say the least. Um, there's not really a whole lot of situations where your Hammond is going to math out really nicely to give you one shot kills um, as you switch to it as your secondary like say Wingman would. Um, it's going to often be two or three hits to kill, and frankly, in my personal opinion, I don't find a whole lot of situations where that seems a whole lot better than just having an auto pistol secondary instead. But, you know, let's talk about the good, the good parts of this weapon, the strengths of it, how can we use it really well. So, what, the things that I think that are kind of uncannily good about this pistol in comparison to the Hammond or the Wingman is that it's... Um, its hip fire spread, even when jumping around, is really tight. I mean, it's no, it's no car SMG, but it's pretty good. So, wh one of the things that I really like to do with this weapon, and that I think where it really shines is, you know, is if you're playing a parkour kind of style, playing really fast, um, and you don't want to be ADSing much, you know, so it kind of goes hand in hand with a, with a counterweight car. So, run around with a counterweight car and a Hammond auto pistol, and you know, you're, you're, or excuse me, not a Hammond auto pistol, just a Hammond P2011 semi auto pistol. And you can essentially, you know, never have to aim down your sights. Um, most of the time, anyways. It's, um, you know, it's just really good in that aspect. And it's something that you might not see me doing a whole lot in my clips, you know, every, every now and then. And I wish that I focused on more, because going back and rewatching all of my clips, I'm starting to realize how great that hip fire actually was in comparison to to the aiming down sights, which just has a lot of view kick, and I mean, it's okay if you're playing on console and you have aim assist, because that'll like just drag your aim along just fine. It, like, it reminds me of using the, um, of using something like Attack 45 in, like, in Call of Duty Black Ops or something on, on Xbox 360, but regardless, it's, it's not a bad pistol. I mean, it, it doesn't have, like, those really attractive damage stats like the Wingman does, but it, it has an interesting kind of niche in between the auto pistol and the wingman that allows it to be alright. Another cool thing to note is that this has one of, if not the best accuracies of any weapon in the game while wall clinging. I mean, if you're taking something like the charge rifle out of the equation. Um, the Hammond, well at least in terms of secondaries, the Hammond definitely has the best wall cling accuracy. So. If that's something that you're into, then by all means go for it, but I have a really hard time recommending that in any serious sense, just because you're going to want a parkour kit, um, you know, to wall cling for I think it's like 28 seconds at a time, but when you're doing that, you should be holding your primary weapon out anyways, and even then, if you get to the point where you actually empty an entire magazine of your primary and you're not killing someone, I really can't re recommend you continuing to hold on the wall and pull out a secondary to try and finish the opponent off. You should, like, jump off and try to, you know, move around a little bit at that point, but that's just my opinion. Anyways, you know, this is a weapon that, you know, I, I, I don't think that it needs any buffs, but to be completely honest, and I hate talking about balance, but I'm going to do it this one time, is I think the auto pistol should receive a little bit of a range nerf. Um, just to make the Hammond a little bit more attractive at medium range. You know, you, you have the, the auto pistol for close range, the wingman for long range, and then this could be a great mid-range weapon if you kind of nerf the Hammond a little, or the auto pistol a little bit. Anyways, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.